just in time for Monday's solar eclipse. Fredericksburg is preparing for 100,000 visitors to clog Highway 290. Across the state, other areas along the path of totality are also planning for the worst case scenario of traffic coming to a standstill. We expect a million or more people to visit the state of Texas to see the eclipse. Brad Wheelis with TxDOT says the roads we use most are likely to be hit hardest. Here in Austin, I-35, SH-71, US-290, US-183, our major corridors could see gridlock. It's why neighborhood libraries and parks are offering free eclipse watching events across Austin and Travis County. I personally can't wait to experience this for the first time in my lifetime, uh, seeing it from one of our Travis County parks. Travis County Judge Andy Brown hopes many people will choose to stay close to home on April 8th. Silker Park is one of many parks across the Austin area that will be hosting parties and handing out free eclipse glasses to keep people in their neighborhoods. We want you to stay in place. Do not travel if you don't have to. Nine branches of the Austin Public Library are also hosting watch parties. All of these events will include uh, crafts and activities for all ages and are a great opportunity to uh, gather, gather with a group of people to watch the eclipse close to home uh, so you don't have to travel far. To further reduce the potential for traffic jams, Capital Metro is providing free rides to people who aren't within walking or biking distance of an eclipse viewing party. It's a concerted effort to deal with crowds that are expected to be the equivalent of what the city sees during Formula One and South by Southwest. We're, we're, the number one message you are, everybody ought to have is that we're expecting a whole lot of people. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.